Hi, I'm Nancy Friendsley. I'm the training manager at the Berkeley East Bay Humane Society in Berkeley, California, and I've been asked how to stop a dog from barking using a dog whistle. Well, I'll tell you, usually I use a dog whistle to teach my dogs to come. I use it by blowing, and this is, this is a silent whistle that I keep on my keychain. Blow it and give my dog a treat, okay? What does, the, what does the whistle do? The whistle, because it's a high-pitched sound, in this case it's not completely silent, gets my dog's attention, and that is all I really need to do to use it to keep my dog from barking. So if every time my dog starts barking, I go and then give my dog a treat for turning toward me, I have started the conditioning process of interrupting the barking sequence at a certain point so that my dog is quiet after that point. And after I have interrupted the behavior, I then reward quiet behavior. My dog is quiet. There it is. So the whistle to teach a, to, to work with the dog to stop a dog from barking is simply an interrupter. And frankly, what I find easier to do is to just teach the word quiet and reward my dog for being quiet. So if I'm out or somebody's come to the door and I hear knocking and my dogs go, whoo, I'll say quiet. Give them a treat after that. Before long, quiet means, oh, come over to me. And your dog learns that they get rewarded for quiet behavior that is not Barking. Barking is a very sort of amped up, excited state of being. And once you blow the whistle and interrupt it, or say quiet and interrupt it, your dog drops that amped up feeling and gets rewarded for quiet behavior. Now, if you're going to use something like this to create quiet behavior, you have to use it each and every time your dog is likely to start barking. And that's where most of us people fall down on the job.